the Mahafali Plateau in the southwest of Madagascar. This remote area forms one of the most unique and biologically rich drylands on Earth. Many of the plants and animals found here are present nowhere else on Earth. At the same time, the region is economically and climatically the most disadvantaged region of Madagascar. The mayor of this village complains that, due to lack of rain, not only the zebus, but in order to survive, also the people have to eat cacti. These residents complain that the mayor should be taking measures to address their underlying poverty, otherwise they won't survive here. Recurrent droughts, exploitation of natural resources and low levels of development threaten the livelihood of the residents. Massive population growth aggravates the situation. Malagashi people live direct on, on the natural products, um, cultivated crops and animal husbandry. Um, the preservation of the ecosystem and related services and functions is directly linked to the well-being and survival of the population. So it's absolutely necessary to um, use the ecosystems and services in a way that preserves them permanently. Based on in-depth research in the areas of ecology, agriculture, forestry and other disciplines, Susanna Cobber, coordinator of the project Sulama, tries to find solutions to the problems of the Madagascan people. We are conducting on-farm experiments um, to develop new strategies in agriculture. Um, this is, for example, in a very simple, or one very simple idea, although um, innovative for the local farmers, is the fertilization um, of the soil using manure of cows and goats. The first results are promising. This photo, for instance, shows trials with maize. Other experiments focus on drought-resistant plants, irrigation systems, or the sustainable management of resources like forest and pasture. A central part of the project is cooperation with local people. As a participatory project, we pay special attention to the rights, needs and customs of local people uh, in order to integrate their traditional knowledge into the development of new strategies. And um, so every step of experiments are uh, discussed with them, explained to them, and it's um, very important um, to have their feedback constantly. Empowering the local people, fighting their problems without losing the traditional ways of life. These are the main challenges of the Project Sulama. We hope that we, in the end, with this project, can provide um, the local people a kind of toolbox where they can use instruments um, to, to establish and maintain their own sustainable land management plan in the long term. And it works. The feedback of the residents is immense. Finally, they are regaining the confidence to tackle their future. <laughs> <laughs>